In this video, I'm going to show you the best match coverage that you can use against Gun Bunch right now in Madden 23. And we're going to be teaching this out of the nickel over defense. If you want to get my full match coverage defensive ebook, make sure that you've joined my Patreon. We've walked through a really advanced uh, beginner and advanced match coverage defensive ebook. We're actually getting ready to update our match defensive ebook with some of the best adjustments. Uh, that you can do as kind of like the you have a foundation of course and then how do you adjust formation formation based off specific very popular setups that a lot of people are doing so if you want to get access to our entire match defensive ebook make sure you're in our patreon patreon members get access to all of my man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks including all the updates as well now the play we're going to be going over is cover four quarters match coverage against bunch and uh, we're going to be using nickel over and uh, how we're going to do this is I'm just going to come out in kind of a basic bunch, um, you know, kind of concept. And here's here's my here's my big thing for match coverage. You need to know how to fix it. It's one of the best defenses in the game until it's not right. And against bunch, if you're playing somebody that knows what they're doing and they have the best bunch playbook, which is Washington, they can throw one play scores. Um, you saw that R1 was wide open and i'll show it again let me just pinch let me do that to kind of slow down the rush and what you'll see is r1 should be open for one play touchdown um of course i can't throw but he's wide open as you can see okay so how do we fix that what's the best bunch of defense out of match match is really good but how do we make it even better here's how you do it you're going to pinch your defense you are going to curl flat the solo wide receiver side linebacker. And then we're going to bring this guy down. So this is going to look just like a man blitz, like Overstorm Brave. Um, also really important, you want to shade outside. Uh, you want to shade your match coverage outside. That's going to make that solo wide receiver play significantly better or that solo wide receiver cornerback. He's going to play really, really, really good for you. Okay. Then what we're going to do is so we're going to be faking a blitz essentially so that they block. We're trying to get them to block people. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to man up our bunch side linebacker onto the tight end. So you're going to see there, the beauty of nickel over is these guys are both middle linebackers. And so you can man them up on anybody on the field. I think that's a really, really underrated piece, um, of this defense. Then we're going to crash our defensive line outside. We're going to bluff blitz the defensive tackle. And then what I like to do is go ahead and blitz my user. I just think it helps with everything, kind of communicates to the defense as a general uh, principle that this guy is kind of a free roamer. And then it, 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 you'll see it will make the entire coverage play better. Now, uh, what you'll notice, in, and of course, pass commit. So what you'll notice is if they go with that setup uh, that I just showed you that was trying to bomb me over the top, um, we can kind of get over here and help because we know we're going to have incredible coverage on the backside. And so what you'll see here, we're going to get over here and you'll see here that R1 is not open anymore. You see, I'm able to take that away. Okay. So now what they're going to start doing is they're going to go to some of their other match beaters where they're going to start motioning out their receiver on the bunch side. And so I'm going to show you one that is, I think like insanely good. Uh, but it's basically this. Somebody ran this on the other day, and I was like, what are they doing? Um, but anyway, here's the basic piece of it. It's bunch trail, and literally all they're going to, literally all they have to do is they're just going to motion out circle. They're just going to motion out circle, and you'll see here that R1 will just break, and um, the match coverage just spazzes out. I don't know why. Um, and so what you'll see here, I'll show you in replay. So you see what happens is this guy, for whatever reason, he like, I don't know why, this is a drag route. And he literally comes underneath to go guard the drag for whatever reason and then recognizes, oh crap, he's on a drag. I got to get back to this guy. And this guy's got about 10, we'll have about 10 yard separation if we throw that ball out there for a touchdown. So how do you counter something like that? Here's how you do it. Whenever they motion, if you look at my uh, play call screen, you see how it kind of lights up their icon? On defense, you can see that their name would be highlighted, right? So what you want to do defensively, we're going to come out, pinch defense, shade outside. You can curl flat this linebacker um, on the left if you want to. You don't have to. You could leave him in the quarter flat, but I think the curl flat's helpful. We're going to bluff uh, crash line out, bluff blitz the DT. That's going to replace that three wreck, and then we're going to man up that linebacker onto the tight end, Okay. Uh, so you see here. So, uh, and then of course, pass commit. So whenever they motion, whenever they start to motion out Miller, 
So they do that. You're going to put that outside guy in an outside third. Now, if I go back to that same setup, right, and as soon as they motion, I put this guy in an outside third and they snap, he's going to play the corner out perfectly, as you see right there. And your job is now just to help over the middle of the field like we want. We, we want to funnel everything to our user in the middle of the field. That is the most important principle of defense, in my opinion. You want to structure your defense in a way where they're being forced to throw the ball at your user. That's really important. Okay. So, um, so now I'm going to show you a secondary route combination that's very popular. And that is basically this. They're going to motion out this guy all the way. So... We go through our little setup, and we do everything that I just said. We put the curl flat out there. We throw the bluff blitz out there. We man up the tight end. We shade outside. We're feeling good, right? Um, and then they do this motion, and we want to really protect ourselves because we don't get bombed. So we put this guy in an outside third. Now, this is honestly fine. You can leave it like this. But what you'll notice here is this corner route will now... Um, it's not open necessarily, but it's it's definitely it's it, it's pretty good route, right? Um, and it can certainly be open depending on who's playing quarterback, you know, who they have out there running that route. All those things are factors. Um, so what we want to do is if they let that receiver set his feet, we want to go ahead and re outside quarter. So you're going to see here that you know we're going to set up a route combination. Maybe looks like this, and they motion this guy out. So we go outside third, and then you see here he sets, so we're going to quickly put him in an outside quarter, and now our quarters coverage is going to play more like a traditional quarters coverage, and it hangs fairly decently with that. That's probably a click on interception or a click on knockout. So that is kind of how I'm combating a lot of what people are wanting to try to do um, on the offensive side of the ball, okay? Uh, let me show you some other thing. Let me show you one last thing real quick with short side bunch. Um, so with short side bunch, there is kind of something you got to be aware of, especially if you're playing someone that's running Washington. So if I'm in clear out, you know, and they do this here, um, let me just walk you through. So you'll see our, our basic adjustments here is essentially this. They're going to run something like this to try to bomb us. And if you look here, we're going to be, we're going to be okay. That safety is going to be able to recover. There was a little bit of a, a weird example because I think he got bumped. Uh, but our safety should be fine to be able to recover to the short side. Okay, what we don't want to do is we don't want to deep half our safety if they're bunches to the short side, and I'll show you why in just a second. Um, so again, you're here, they're running their bunch, they're going to throw this clear out fade, and you see that my safety is able to guard it properly. Okay, don't worry so much about the left side, we'll come back to that. Uh, later on you can outside third you know you could do an adjustment like this this is not a bad adjustment um, you could do something like this right here uh, to stop that clear out a uh, little fade or whatever they're doing over there on the other side uh, but why do you not want to deep half I'm glad you asked you don't want to deep half so you don't want to deep half because of this this fade is really really good on the short side so if they try to run a short side this deep half is going to turn inside and then now you have that that's going to get over the top of your deep half. So you need to be kind of wise about, okay, if they're on the short side, they can hurt me this way. If they're on the wide side, they can hurt me this way because I want to show you something. What can't hurt you on the short side is a popular beater that a lot of people like to go to, which is basically verticals in a streaking circle. You'll see here that, yes, it beat me there, but if I go through my adjustments that I just showed you, you'll see we're going to be in a little bit better position. Okay, so we're going to man up to tie it in. We're going to shade outside. We're going to have the three wreck. We're going to blitz this guy. And what you should see here is this streak. And I'm going to get back and help. But you see that my guy's hanging with him better there. Okay. However, if they're on the wide side of the field, and this is where it's important to understand how hash marks work. If they're on the wide side of the field, then you're going to notice something really interesting. So if I go through the same adjustment process that I just showed you, and they run the same exact bomb, you're going to notice that this works completely differently on this side of the field. So if I run this, what you'll see here now is because of the spacing, circle somehow is standing wide open over the top. That clear out fade is not as good on the, on the wide side. It's a short side bomb. So we have freedom to be able to deep half as we need to. Uh, so you'll see here, if I go to clear out FLN and run that same setup, that deep half 
is not. I got to worry about the tight end, and that's why we man him up. Um, but I. But you see that the deep half was able to defend the fade. Now you see how we're going to weave all this together. So essentially, on the wide side of the field, when the bunch is to the wide side, you want a deep half. When the bunch is not to the wide side, you don't want to be. You don't want to be deep halving. If they motion out from the bunch, if they motion out from the bunch, um, then what you want to do, especially if you're wide, if they're wide side, okay, then that is where you need to make sure they motion out. You put that guy in a third. If you do those things, your match coverage just got about a 50, 50,000 times better against bunch. So those are some things that I'm doing right now at a bunch match coverage uh, to be able to handle some of the things my opponents have been doing to me. Um, something to think about. Match coverage is really good because it's man and zone together combined based on situation. Another thing that I think is really underrated is this variation of match where we're going to blitz everybody. So we're going to make it look like this and we're going to run it like Overstorm Brave. We're literally just going to man up everybody over there on the right. So you see we do something like that. And we have this guy on the backside is already manned up technically. So now we're sending heat, right? And it looks like match, but it's man. That is like super high level stuff, but it's going to take your defense to the next level. If you like this type of stuff, really getting in the weeds and really understanding some of the depths, I think you're going to really enjoy our match coverage defensive ebook. I think you're really going to enjoy all of our Patreon stuff because we really dive in deep to how do you actually adjust when you're playing somebody that knows what you're doing and they're adjusting what you're doing, how do you adjust and protect yourself and make your defense that much better? Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire match defensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. The link is in the description. $10 will get you access to everything over at the Patreon page. Hope to see you guys over there. Thanks for watching. If you want to sign up, head down to the description and we will see you over at Patreon, uh, the Patreon page.